Mission Towards 96 here with another video and I'm going to be showing you guys some newly shown figures from Hasbro. Um, this is quite exciting if you are a collector of the 3 and 3 quarter inch scale. That's a, collect, uh, that's a scale that I used to collect quite heavily. However, in the, um, the you know most recent years I've kind of stopped collecting it uh, just due to favoring the 6 inch scale more just because Hasbro started favoring that scale more as well. But we are going to get some more 3 and 3 quarter inch figures um, coming up pretty soon from them. These are fully articulated and they really just seem to be scaled down versions of Marvel Legends. We're getting some from Doctor Strange, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and Spider-Man Homecoming. I'll be talking about them all in this video. So here we have the Doctor Strange set. It's going to be a two-pack. These are all going to be two-packs if I'm not mistaken. Um, but as you can see, we have this one in package. First of all, the packaging design. I love. I think it looks fantastic. I love the artwork at the top right. The background is amazing, very cool. And then the artwork on the sides of the packaging is great and fits in line with the Marvel Legends series as well. So uh, just in package, this thing looks perfect. Um, I'd almost be tempted just to keep it in package if I got it. Um, but it does look really great. And um, the figure in this pack, or the figures, is going to be Doctor Strange, a normal version with his Cloak of Levitation, and then it's Doctor Strange in his astral projection form. Um, as you can see, I mean, when I looked at these, I thought that, at first, I thought that this is just a repack of the 6-inch figures, and then it wasn't until I noticed that it was 3 and 4-inch that I, I realized that that was obviously not the case. Um, these figures seem to be identical, uh, just absolutely just scaled down versions. I'm sure there are some more differences, but as far as the expression, the way that the cloak hangs, the, um, the uh, position of the hands, everything seems to be identical to the 6-inch versions. Um, so, you know, I'm sure it saved them money as far as not having to redesign uh, the figures, just basically having to scale them down. So it saved design costs for them, I'm sure. Um, but they do look quite nice, I have to say. Uh, however, buying this pack, you're basically buying two of the same figure, which is a bit annoying. The next one we have is um, the Guardians of the Galaxy set. And now this set is quite cool. Again, it does seem to be very much uh, just scaled down versions of the 6 inch ones that we already have. Um, but we have Yondu here with a big smile just like the 6 inch one and with his cloak kind of draping behind his little holster there that keeps uh, the arrow uh, just like the uh, the six inch one um, the one thing I, I can't see the arrow so I would assume that Yandu comes with his arrow but I can't see it and then obviously you have Star Lord there which looks quite nice no print on his shirt which is different from the six inch one and I am wondering why that is the case but there isn't any print on his shirt like there should be uh, he comes with two guns and then the helmeted head uh, as far as all of these, they seem to be quite lacking in accessories to me, um, before I talk about the Amazing Spider-Man ones, which are more interesting. Um, but, uh, but with these, they're lacking accessories. The Yondu that comes in the single pack that's 6-inch has two head sculpts, has an arrow with all the magical like effects to make it look like it's floating, things like that. And then Star-Lord doesn't come with the Peter Quill head sculpt, which I think is, uh, is really disappointing. I would, uh, I would definitely like to see that. You know, Yondu doesn't necessarily need two head sculpts, but... Star-Lord, I, I think, definitely does. And when it comes to the Doctor Strange set, there's no um, magical effects, uh, and that's something that's a must-have. So I'm very disappointed that there's no, um, you know, like, uh, either the green, you know, um, time, you know, uh, magical effect that he has on his arm, or the, like, the shield version one that you can see in the artwork there. Uh, I think that those are super necessary, so it's very surprising that they don't have them. Then here's like the kind of out of package images. Um, for some reason, the Guardians of the Galaxy images are are not as clear as the um, Doctor Strange ones. It just we haven't got uh, really high quality versions of them yet. But uh, this is a really good place to see articulation. Articulation looks to be quite good. Uh, when it comes to the Doctor Strange ones, I would imagine uh, ball jointed heads, ball hinge shoulders, hinge swivel elbows, which is different than the double hinge that the six inch version has. Then the wrists. I can't tell if there's wrist articulation. I assume there's a swivel there though. Um, the one thing that's disappointing is there doesn't seem to be any torso articulation on these. Uh, they could be hidden, but it doesn't look like it from these pictures. Then ball jointed thighs, double hinged knees, and hinge pivoting ankles. So as far as the legs go, the legs seem to be perfect. Uh, the arms seem to be pretty good. The head definitely would need a hinge, um, and I don't think that these are going to come with it. And then the torso is extremely lacking. So articulation is similar to Marvel Legends, uh, the 6 inch scale. However, it is not completely there, uh, which is disappointing to some degree. 
Now we move up over to the Spider-Man ones. The Spider-Man ones do seem to be a bit different. Uh, we don't have an in-package look of them, so I'm not 100% sure if we are going to get a two-pack of these. I would assume that we will be getting a two-pack, but if not, there is a possibility these would be single packs, um, but I doubt it. But as you can see, the Spider-Man one does look quite nice. He, he seems to be quite skinny and, you know, well-proportioned to Tom Holland. Um, as far as his articulation, it looks like it's the exact same thing as the other figures, except uh, it is clear that it looks like he has a hinge at the wrist. Um, and then the one big thing is he has... Uh, he has a ball jointed uh, upper torso, which is very nice, and that's something that's super necessary. I am glad that they, if they were going to give one character a better articulation, Spider Man is the one to, to do it for, so I am glad about that. Then we have Vulture. Vulture is extremely cool looking. I'm really excited for Vulture. I love Marvel villains. I love Spider-Man villains, and uh, and you know, uh, and I love the movies, obviously. So all together, when those things line up, I'm always very excited. So I am very excited for Vulture, and uh, I cannot wait to get as much merchandise of him as I possibly can. This Vulture figure, the figure itself looks quite nice. It looks like his thighs are a little bit too wide. Um, I wish that they would, you know, be put in slightly closer together so it doesn't look like he had such wide a wide stance. I think that does look a little odd. I think that the feet look wonderful. Love the way that they've sculpted that. It looks very aggressive. And that was one of my issues from the 6-inch version. Um, just at least based on the pictures that we've seen of that one, the feet didn't look aggressive enough for me. As far as the wings go, the wings are definitely toned down. Um, simply to save on cost because his wings in the movie are huge so to to kind of still give you the effect of him having wings but to not have to actually sculpt massive wings this is what they did uh, I would of course prefer them to sculpt full wings like massive ones and even if the price tag had to be higher I'd prefer it however they're not going to do that uh, so uh, I'm still okay with it I mean you know it still it gets the point across basically and but the detail in those wings look really nice the only issue I have with them uh, other than the size is the fact that there aren't those like propellers in the little circular sections as we've seen from the trailer he does have like little propellers there that can move separately uh, to help uh, stabilize him and they don't seem to be there at all so it's just kind of like two circles two big holes which looks very strange I'm hoping that's just this prototype and they'd fix that because uh, that just looks odd but the rest of the figure does look nice the collar piece looks very cool the head looks pretty good it looks a little different though for some reason I can't quite put my finger on what's so different about it. The, the dome of it looks a little odd. So maybe it's just a picture. I'm not sure, but it does look a little odd. Um, and as far as his articulation, it seems to be the exact same as uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy and the um, Doctor Strange sets. It seems that he doesn't have torso articulation, but his other articulation is on par with the other ones. So uh, there you go. Um, as far as what I'm going to get, uh, what I plan to get, I think I'm going to skip this Doctor Strange set because it's, you know, I've had the six-inch one and I don't really need two versions of Doctor Strange. Um, this set looks quite cool. I might be tempted to get this, but I think that I'd probably skip it as well. I'm starting to move away from the three and three quarter inch series, although I used to love it. Uh, I just, I really, you know, they don't come out with enough products for me to collect them full time anymore. And the products that they do come with, come out with, are basically just scaled down versions of the six inch ones, which I'll already have. So it's just, it kind of doesn't make sense to buy them again, just smaller versions. Um, the one uh, set that I'll get is this one, uh, just because I, you know, again, I'm super excited for the Vulture. I love myself some villains, and uh, so you know, the Vulture I'll totally get. Whether I have to buy him in a two pack or in a single card doesn't really matter. I'll still get it. I am very excited for this set. But this is quite exciting, uh, just for any fans of Marvel Legends, especially in the three and three quarter inch scale. Uh, I did just get a comment really recently about somebody saying that they wish that there were more movie three and three quarter inch figures. I can't remember who said that to me, but uh, uh, I'm sure that they're going to be very happy now. So, you know, there is still a market for this scale, and I am glad that they're continuing with the scale and giving it decent articulation. When they were doing this scale, but with the five points of articulation, that was just pretty ridiculous. So I'm pretty happy if they can do the scale with good articulation. So there you go, there's my uh, video on these new products shown from Hasbro from their 3D Core Inch Marvel Legends scale. Let me know what you guys think of these figures, and thanks so much for watching.